And we are back. Let me make sure I'm in the right thing so that everybody can see how these dice can you can you go? I need to I need to text. <clears throat> Here you go. All right. Are you guys are you guys scripted? Yeah. All right. Yay, first Real player quick. versus I, I, player. I have to do six. Okay. Yeah, there's another one I can't remove, but I'll just I can. <clears throat> All right. All right. So, volley one. Avoid the topic. Point. Oh. All right. Point goes first. All right. Look, I'm not actually asking you to get involved in anything that you think might be happening. All I'm, you are the one who came up with the idea for the feast. You fought the Dominus for the feast. You fucking invited the Imperials to the feast, even when I had not. So all of this is your idea. And to top it off, you know, I... I went to bat for you. I put my neck on the line because you couldn't control yourself around one old fucking priest. All right, now look. But you don't know about the second one. <laughs> now look, you want to have a feast? That's great. You being here is not necessarily precedent for this to happen. Harvest is coming in and we just had an entire contingent of foreign people arrive with foods for us. We are going to have a feast, whether you're with us or not, but if you want to maintain your place in this church and in this town, you need to be the one to do it, and you owe me. And he just kind of butters by the path. Life was so much easier in the city. <laughs> that can murder indiscriminately. Just punch people in an alley. All right. Uh, so this is a versus test. Uh, now, quick question. Yeah. Um, since it's will versus skill, am I at double odd penalty, or is it a specific no. case for duel of wits? It is a specific case for duel of wits. All right. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to go persuasion, uh, town-wise for the harvest festival. And then etiquette for the celebration feast for the people who brought us food. Ooh, nice roll, Matt. Three successes? Nice. No sixes, though. Hang on. I forgot how to use the sheet. Everything's too big and I can't <laughs> click anything. Duel of Wits always gets my heart rate up. So exciting. Even against even against this putz? Yeah. Okay. Do I just do it against zero? Uh do both succeed? No, uh with with avoid. Oh, it comes off of mine. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna you throw do, a persona then. You do you do hits over three. Alright, let me make sure I take that off. Oh wait. I'm too excited. I keep losing screens. <laughs> it's hard to keep track of all the screens, man. Uh, I'm going to open those sixes. Yeah, you are. Dang. So, um, I set the target number to greater than three. Greater than, mm -hmm. uh, greater than four. If you use the... Hold on. Let me see if I can... Because when you say greater than, the oh, program counts it as greater than or equal to. Yeah, I can't I can't force you to see this. If you if you click on the, the like, die roller... Okay, that's where I am. Thing, uh, yeah, you set the... You set... Uh, target, target to greater, greater than, than four. four. Yep. And I roll 2d6. Yep. Right? Yeah, and you can click the exploding thing and it'll automatically separate or yeah. compound 
Uh, you want it separate. Okay. <laughs> I like I how you guys can hear that. Style. What's that? I don't know if you guys can hear that. My cat is losing his mind. No, nope, can't hear it. I don't understand what happened. I don't uh, understand what happened either because it... Uh, it, it looks it, like it. It did it backwards. Uh, you got you got three extras. Dang. Yeah, she knocked me out. There you go. There's some. <sighs> wow. Okay, so it was over really quickly. Uh, yeah, but you get that. Uh, what is that? Sweet ob nine freaking <laughs> will test, Matt. <laughs> Jesus. Yay! I didn't even get to use my point. Yeah, but it doesn't get to any to more challenging than challenging. Not like it doubles up on him. Like it's too challenging. No, but like, how often do you get an ob nine test? <laughs> Are you? I guess I should have asked before you even did this. Are you okay with having the feast? Oh, like, I am as now. a player. Well, as a player. Well, oh, I mean, no, yeah, I, I, I was okay with it being forced on him through this kind of situation. That's kind of what Andy's I figured, idea. but... Um, uh, what kind of steel test do I have to make? Uh, ooh, that's a good... That is a good question. Uh, because you were just slaughtered in the first... In the first <laughs> volley. I like how I was like... He's like, I'm not gonna do this. And she's like, no, you are. <laughs> He's like, oh, okay, I guess I am. I didn't even say I'm not going to do this. I said, I miss the city. Oh, I guess I'm going to do it. Fuck. <laughs> uh, let's see. I didn't even get to earn one test towards my ugly truth and persuasion. I'm sorry. You uh, should feel bad about that, Kristen. I don't, though. I don't feel bad at all. You yeah. punch things to death, Roid and him. I talk them to doing what I want. <clears throat> uh, we made very different characters. Yeah, uh, so a character who has lost a duel of wits must make a steel test. If his argument was reduced yep. below zero, those dice are added to the hesitation obstacle. Hey, Negative if I one. were there, so you'd my... get a bonus to your steel test. So, ob seven. Yay! Uh, if a challenging that I don't need, a difficult that I don't need. Yeah, and then I like to see your biggest problem is the loss of tests. And then while while the loser hesitates, the uh, uh, the the winner gets to 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 gloat. I don't gloat. I look very sympathetic at him. Oh Jesus! Dang! Wow. I run screaming. You run <laughs> screaming? What is that? What does that look like? He just. He's, he's like, like really I'm fucking sick of this shit, and he just like starts running, screaming how he's sick of this shit, and this, and 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 just at the, you know, nothing specific. I'm not, I'm not screaming things that are spoiling plans. Um, but it's basically like I pulled into this shit again. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta do it. He's like, you know, accepting his fate while screaming. I, guess I gotta go back to the fucking church. Gotta you go murderize it. Oh. You don't. Oh, oh, the virtue. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> you can <laughs> demand satisfaction <laughs> if you want. <laughs> It'll feel I, bad. Well, I, I, after I'm done running and screaming, I have to hike back up the hill, back into the keep. Hang on. <laughs> I want to kill you because I hate this. <laughs> I oh, still I, have to I'm set up sorry, the feast sir. for you, but I'm going to kill you first. I'm sorry, sir. Yes, he's busy. Like, do you have an appointment? Run screaming again. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, puppet arms. All I can picture when you do this is that uh, scene in uh, Team America. Like, he's giving us a signal. Whoa! Or he's <laughs> waving his arms back. <laughs> it's me. It's me. I, I think he's saying, running. kiss me, kiss me. Cocky motherfucker. Once I'm done running, I start walking to the. Uh, I, I once I am done running, I keep going the direction I was going, and I just start going to the church. If you're not gonna pick your path, I'm gonna pick your fucking path for you, Matt. <laughs> that's that kind of what I was. Gonna be my to be fair, that's what I was going for a little bit. <laughs> All right, that's a lot of me on screen time. When we come back, I want to have dinner with um, what's his face. 
Nice. But figure out whatever else. Did you, there. did you just say that's enough scream time for me? But then when we come hey, back, I'll do something sweet. else. Yeah, I'm always busy. I have shit I need to do. Just because you want to have nothing on his plate right now. I'm the spotlight. Let me have the spotlight. No, I'm just kidding. All right. Aldwin's, Aldwin's good for now, so you two do whatever you want. I'm Aldwin's yeah. fucking done right now. What, what is Aldwin what? doing? Fuck all. <laughs> just, just hang it. Nothing's going well. I was just doing his normal duties. I heard duties. the priest run screaming out of the keep, but other than that. I was just hoping he doesn't get called into somebody else's room to deal with shit that he shouldn't have to deal with. And... Uh... Restraining himself from hunting down certain Sebastian punching bag. Yeah, you could you could hunt him down if you wanted to. Oh. Get drunk and start a fight with him. It'd be good. <laughs> uh <clears throat> Yeah, you do see him though. Like while while you're kind of while you're kind of like pursuing your, your regular duties, uh like he he you you see him pass by uh, like it's mm. it's Mazifa and uh. I do know what I want to do. Uh, <laughs> do it. Uh, Tafina, who is a um, she's she's kind of a a a, a like stocky woman, like a short stocky woman, uh. But she, her like she is the, uh, she's she's kind of the the head teamster, if that makes any sense. Like, oh yeah, yeah. Uh, like the two oh. of them are taking, uh, like it it, it looks like some some uh, uh, some sacks. They're they're pulled up in front of the, uh, or over by the 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 public house. And like the two of them are unloading sacks from the back of it, from the back of the wagon. Uh, but fucking Mazifa, like as he sees you go by, like stops and get like makes eye contact <laughs> and just like gives you the stink eye as he sees you. I'll stop. I'll walk over there. <clears throat> Be like, can I help you unload? Uh, he, uh, <laughs> he, he's like, uh, I don't, I don't need your help for anything. Imperial. Okay, well, all right. Well, if you need me, I'll, I'll be around watching. You'd be better off going back to your, uh, back to your, your, your warm, soft lands. Hey. I chuckle a little bit and I walk away because, uh, Aldwin had a really great idea. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. What do you do? Oh, I'm going to follow through on my promise and making sure they have guard, guards to, uh, escort them around. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. Definitely making sure that that they have a complement of a couple guards to uh, escort. Uh, probably Mazifa personally. Uh, <clears throat> Just kind of follow him around, make sure no no one hurts him. Is like, are they are they obvious? Yes, I want them to be obvious. Oh yeah, sure. Like, uh, are are you following them around too? No. no. I told him I was going to assign guards to him. He's well aware of it. To both delegations. So, uh... Boy, you know what? I sure would like to assign some guards to the witch lady, too. Uh... Sure. I mean, like... Like, making sure that... Because uh, there's a murder on the loose, and I sure wouldn't want anything <laughs> to happen to those guys. There's... There certainly is. This is for for uh, for their for their own safety, right? Exactly. 
Uh, sure. Okay. Yeah. Like. I mean, if my guys are spying on him on the DL, so so what? Uh. But mostly, I want it to be like a giant middle finger to Mazifa. Oh yeah, no, no, he he gets it. Uh, <laughs> Just the biggest middle finger I can throw at him. He he absolutely gets it. Uh, Do I need to roll something for that, or is there a conflict there? Um, not like. Not in terms of do you assign them? Like, yeah, you do. Uh, and they they follow them around uh, for for a while. Uh, and then I, I need to I need to, to kind of figure out a um, sure. Let me. Uh, you can come back to that if you want. Yeah, to. yeah. Uh, let me bounce down uh, to. It's not a pressing matter. To Colin. Uh, you 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 head back to the church. Yeah. All right. Oh, I get a reputation for my intimidation. What's that? Oh, I was thinking I could have forked in one of my reputations for my intimidate that I failed. Uh, reputations only apply for for circles. Reps and affiliations oh. only work for circles. They're not. Oh, yeah. okay, okay, okay. Yeah, it's it's I'm <laughs> I'm this guy, like looking for somebody. Yeah, yeah. It's it would be somebody who was already hurt. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. Yeah, it no. was just the thing that came to my head, and I. Um. <clears throat> yeah, you uh you arrive. Uh it's you you can you can hear uh like like as as you walk up, it's 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 an afternoon. Yeah, we'll say we'll say afternoon by this by this point. Uh there's a a late afternoon service. You hear singing coming from inside. Good boy. I'm going to go in the back door. <laughs> so like where my little room and kind of stuff is. Uh, yeah. So you, you, uh, you go in, um, and like your, your things have kind of been like strewn about, uh, not like, not like somebody's searching through your shit. Oh my god, uh, it's like, like an ex, a spiteful ex girlfriend. Yeah, nothing, nothing like that. It's it's not like that. But like, uh, there's there's uh, you know your 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 vestments, your priestly vestments. Yeah, uh, he had to grab them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, like it's, uh, it's pretty clear. Like everything's out of place because he had to to get the things that he needed, uh, and he didn't necessarily know where they were. Right? Like, I'll 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 check I'll check like the little floorboard area where I'll say like I hid the knife just to make sure that's still there. Let's find out. Basically, under a loose board. Like just stuck in the dirt and the board over it. Uh, yeah, it seems to be safe. Yep. Uh, and undisturbed. I will, I will tidy up and wait for everything to finish. Um, yeah, you like like you can kind of hear, uh, hear uh, uh Chadwick's muffled voice, uh, muffled like through the walls. Uh, giving, you know, going through uh, the motions of the service. He gets he gets words wrong. He he stumbles a few times, uh, but but he makes it through. Uh, makes it through the whole service, uh, and then you hear like you can hear the the sound of feet 
leaving. Uh, and then, like, he comes in because there's a, the, the door from, like, that you came in, like, to the outside. And then a second door that leads to the, like, chapel. Uh, and he comes, like... He opens opens the door and and walks in. Uh, I'm just sitting on the bed, hands in my lap. Yeah, and like he's wearing your, uh, like your robes and things. Oh God, I'm a short imperial, and he's like a tall Varda, and it's just like, yeah, oh God, yeah, like, but he's also a skinny kid, right? So like, yeah. it's 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 too big in places, but it's also too short. So it's like mm-hmm. high waters, but all baggy. Uh, and he, like, he, he comes in and he just kind of, kind of stops and looks at you. And I say, I, I, I say, I, I, I overheard some of that. You did a good job. Good boy. Uh, he, he, uh. He just says, what are you doing here? First, and I know <laughs> he just words can... goes, I lost a duel of wits. <laughs> <laughs> I got my ass I got yelled at by a mom. <laughs> um, I'll say first, I'm sorry for my words, or... I am. I, I should. I should have. I should have not. I should have handled it better. I was. Fortunately, I am a man and prone to. Like not like the gender, like the species, right? Like I'm just a man. Like I'm prone to the. Human weaknesses thereof. Uh, I know. I, I let you down. But whatever else happens from here, we've, you and I have both worked very hard to get this feast going, and I'm here to make sure it goes through, to feed the people of this town. He goes, I'll, I'll, I'll see it taken care of. <sighs> oh, what am I going to do? All right. I'll, I'll look him. I'll look him right in the eye and say, um, "Though it was said in anger, I wasn't. I wasn't lying when I said you're a better man than I. You sh- you might have questions. If you have them, ask now." He says, "I want the truth." And he nods, and um, he says, uh, Before I came here, I lived in the capital city of Rama <laughs> Rama, <laughs> uh, and I wasn't a priest. I was a criminal, a thug, a bruiser on the streets. I was not a nice man. And I was caught and paid for my crimes. Uh, my, the last part of my sentence was, was uh, my bond was purchased by a man of the cloth in the city. I helped him with his church and, I, and, and, and from him I learned the ways of the path and how to be a priest. And I came here hoping to Escape my past and and be a better man and and set up a better better future and help people. It's been harder escaping my past than I thought. When the Imperials came, you know, the father came with them. 
uh, Father um, Petronax. Yes, that man. Parthenax, Father Parthenax, Petronax. Um, I'm sure you've realized by now. You've read the text yourself. I haven't been. I haven't adhered to every. Some of the more outdated and close-minded parts of the text. Uh, you know, you know its thoughts on talking to spirits and things like that. Like I'm talking about, like, yeah, like your 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 families, your 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 ancestors worship. And I knew that the people of this town would didn't need that. Didn't it? It would have just made things worse. And I know the true path is about, you know, the, the, the better things in there. You know, the neighborly, blah, blah, whatever. Well, Petronax didn't agree with that. He wanted to immediately uh, brand it all as heretical doctrine um, and, and start casting blame and fear and... and that around and threatened to oust me and and take over and I knew it would just cause more strife so I made a foolish error <laughs> you just referred to murdering somebody with a candle stick oh yeah oh error. no that's a horrible horrible <laughs> horrible mistake I made um and and I'll look, I'll, look, I'll look at Chad right in his eyes right in his face the windows <laughs> of his soul and I said, bitch. Oh, wait, no. <laughs> wait, <so. laughs> I, I, bitch I said, better uh, have my money. In my panic, I fell back on, on old, darker habits, and uh, I attacked him. Just attack him. I hold up a hand. I say, I will confess to Aldwin. However... I'm not I trying would. to escape my fate. I say, I say, I'm not trying to escape my my fate. I know what has to happen, but if I say it now, while well, the Imperials are still here, it will only bring more hardship to the town. I will wait till they leave, and then conf and then confess to all of them. And he says, and apparently now this is my confession to you. And I say, I, I say, uh, 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 brother, like priest to priest. Uh, and he goes so the truth then is that you killed him because he was going to to demand that you stop people worshipping the dead that's the truth I killed him because I. Was What's that? Sorry, you. I, I, I said Sorry. I killed him because I was afraid, and I didn't trust in the past oh. to, 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 to to see to, to help what was what was right. He. Uh... <clears throat> Hang on. This is gonna be a tough choice. Wait, what is his belief? Hey. He agreed to lie for me, but I don't know what he's agreed to do once the truth comes out. Yeah. This is my this is my practice run for confession before I hit up Aldwin. <laughs> Uh, uh, he, 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 he says, I, I haven't, I don't know what to do, uh, when it comes to, to taking confessions. Hmm. 
but I know that you will find forgiveness on the path. Student has become the teacher. But tears, tears, uh, silent. But and he 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 says, but but you made me complicit in your doings, and I don't know if. I can offer forgi- forgiveness from me. And I say, I don't know if I deserve it. And he says, did you come to collect your things then? Is, is there is there any kind of intent or any kind of... What's, what's the emotion behind his words right there? Like, is he like, come get your shit and get out? Is he like... Are you coming to take over again? Are you coming to yeah, like like you? like he's not real real sure like but you, okay. you like you, you you as as far as he knows you gave up uh you know he, he okay, oh that okay okay that's great that okay so I say I look at I say you know before I came back and spoke with you I had given up hope and everything and he's like crying quiet tears, you know, voice is shaking. And he says, uh, and he says, your, your wisdom, your, your grace has, has helped me realize that, that if forget, I mean, forgiveness is possible. I can, I can still at least, I can't, I can't wash away my past. I can't hide from it, but I can at least embrace it and try to move forward and still, and still walk. Uh, stumbling on the path doesn't mean you're done walking it. I, I say, if you, if you accept it, brother, I would like to come back and resume this. Uh. <laughs> uh he 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 says uh uh he says i i i learned a lot from you but i've learned more uh and from uh from from listening to the words of uh he can't read by the way um oh yeah so so all he all he knows is like what you've taught him verbally uh okay. he's he's like uh you you've you've taught me to 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 go through the motions but it was but it's it's the it's the words of the uh of 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 the god uh that have that have put me on this path and he's like and like as he's talking like this like I kneel before his feet like a like a petitioner and like <clears throat> grab at his at like the base of his robe like a religious petitioner uh and he 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 uh He's, uh, he's, he's like, murder is not a virtue that I know of. And I think if God speaks to you, you would know that in your heart. And I don't know if I can let, I don't think I can let one such as you take on the spiritual well-being of my people uh which makes me think we're at the point of a versus suasion role <laughs> okay possibly uh i feel like any more won't go anywhere yeah yeah Uh, which he is beginner's lucky. Oh God, with my dice luck lately, awesome. 
Do you actually have suasion? Yeah, at a three. Nice. And I'm going to fork in um, Doctrine. Suasion. Let me find it. I suspect it's rooted in will. It's 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 the priest version of persuasion. Yeah. Yep. Rooted in will. All right, so uh, so you want him to let you come come back, right? Yeah. I mean, I mean, let's face it. You could you can make him make you come back or let you come back. You could easily overpower this sixteen year old child. Not going to. Uh, yeah. Uh, sure. He he. Uh, he obviously like. What's his what's his intent like? Uh yeah, let me let me add to this. He's, he's He probably wants to take over the church. Uh he wants to lead the church. Yeah, he's he's been doing it. Like, yeah, if you want to come back, you come back as a supplicant. Yeah, and you teach him how or you uh, continue to teach him because he can't read. But on the DL, like you're not you're not the leader of the people anymore. Absolutely, let's do it. So, so go ahead and set his ob because it's you're probably going to, to yeah. own him. Really? You say that, and I get that <laughs> rule. I wow. am. Wow. Jesus, do you even have a call on or anything? Yeah. Do you have a call on? Yeah, I have. I have lucky. I have lucky. Better use that lucky. Yeah. Uh, ow! I'm just gonna I'm just gonna hit that dice roll again. Two <laughs> successes and a six, much better. Well, he's only got one. He's only got two in, or three in suasion, so I think that's pretty he's, good. Oh shit! I forgot to spend my persona. Oh well. Oh well. <laughs> you can. You can. Yeah. Oh, that was a whole reroll. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Hang on. Um Well, but they're tied right now, right? Yeah, but I used my I used my call on two reroll. Oh, I don't know if I would have done that. Well, no, cuz I had yeah. zero, so he would have won. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, but that counts as a success. So right now, yes, you are tied. But me, we means neither one of us gets what we want. Uh, yeah, not not. not I, I'm, I'm thinking. I'm thinking though. Before we, before we finish. <sighs> I'm gonna deeds it. Oh damn! Really? Oh. Wow. Wow. You don't. You don't want to. You don't want to try and come up with some way of breaking the tie. How, how else can I? How else can I break the tie? Uh. Well, I mean, let's take a look here. I mean, I had, I had, I was gonna spend a persona point, but I forgot, so I'm fucked on that one. Uh. uh I'm not lying. I'm not gambling, so I can't use poker face. Success, failure, let it ride. Not rolling circles streetwise or citywise. How yeah, about a, like, a compromise? How about a compromise? Okay. What do you suggest? What if, what if I agree to come back... Um, but not as the head of the church, as his equal. We're both priests, so we both do we both do stuff. Um, and I I 
continue to teach him from the book and teach him how to read and all that other stuff. But I guide him as in... I thought that was the lost yeah. condition. No, the lost condition was I come back as a supplicant. Like, I come back and he's totally in charge. Now uh, we're coming back and we're both equals. Um... <clears throat> Uh, yeah, he's, he, he's, uh, he, he, uh, he says, uh, fine, if you'll, but, but you need to teach me to read. Absolutely. And I, I do have to say for your first time it out there, it sounded a lot better than my first time. I think you are ready if you wish. To join me and be a full, at least start get you know give sermons and, and be a priest at my side. <clears throat> uh, yeah, yeah, and he he's like, well, I, I suppose we'll see who's standing by whose side. Oh, it's gonna be like that. <laughs> oh. Uh. <clears throat> he 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 kind of kind of looks around uh and he and he says I'm I'm sorry about the mess. You had to find something in a short amount of time. I don't blame you. Uh and he he he, he nods and like like uh kind of kind of strips off the uh the ill-fitting robe and you know tosses it on onto your your bed uh i want to get him a nice robe and is and it, oh yeah uh, you know and underneath he's just got on like regular regular clothes it's not like he's stripped down to his skivvies uh and he's 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 like i have i have uh i have to i have to to replace some candles i'll let you clean up before you go um, and he, he pauses yeah uh, and he looks like he wants to say like thank you and 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 uh, um all these, like, just these things to him, you know, uh, uh, of of some kind of emotional, deep, emotional, strong, whatever, you know, like, he was kind of not quite real father-son, but, like, I helped train him. Well, I don't know. And it just, like, ends with, you throw a good punch. <laughs> yeah. uh, he, uh, <clears throat> uh, he says you got lucky that it was me my mother throws rocks oh she's threatened <laughs> me with them before <laughs> uh, um, <clears throat> and then it'll say tomorrow morning before, before service we'll start reading lessons uh, of course and I Suppose I, uh, did, you 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 brought up the feast, right? Or did you? Yeah, yeah. Uh, he says, I suppose I'll have to start getting things ready for the feast. And like at that, like dread sets in on Colin again. He's like, yes, yes. Um, uh, 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 set a set a place of honor for our our Tibetan, uh friends who have brought food and we probably shouldn't want to appear like we're playing favorite so you should probably have another spot set up for the callus and his his people for the totally not poison <laughs> for the totally <laughs> not poison <sighs> uh, he says uh, I can see that I assume that uh, that you'll be speaking with uh, 
Lady B. Orson about uh, getting getting the uh, the the speakers to make their preparations as well. I assume that it's not going to be only our blessings. No, I've 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 spoken. Um, I'm just assuming <laughs> the past. I've spoken with. Um, uh, Uh, Feana about it. Um, she seemed hesitant to enter the church, but we'll see. We'll see what her decision is, are, are, or any of the other speakers. Uh, he says, "Are are we are we having it here then, in the church? Can we uh, get everybody um, in here? Maybe maybe not in the church, but I thought." And he starts like like. <laughs> Tension melts away as he starts going to preach. But I thought, you know, the, over there by the trees was some, and we could set tables out there and, and you know, and, and he starts going into the logistics of it. Nice. Um, man, it's almost 11. Uh, I am good right now. I need to... <laughs> to, 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 to so if you want to let Yezzy get something done or Alden get something done... I'm good. I don't have much I, more to do, and I'm getting a little tired. So. All right. Uh, well, then let's uh, let's. Why let's... don't we just knock out what Yizzy wants to do and then call it? Yeah. Well, because I always take so long, and I don't want to make you guys sit here. Well, whose you're fault tired. is that? No, I'm just kidding. Just everybody for fucking opposing me. Yeah, and then I gotta come in and fucking clean it up, or attempt to at least. Yeah, you did such a great job. I'll be calling I'm, on you in the she's future. She's a fucking gin about mind powers. Hey, hey Sean. Yeah. Country. Was that an ob one suasion for me? Uh, that would have been yeah, yeah, yes. Okay. Yeah, would have been routine. I got two tests in a session. <laughs> Wait, three. I got a brawling, a suasion, and a will. <laughs> I'm all, I'm almost up to my same levels of of my. Um, Psychologist in the Burning Empire game. Right. <laughs> Over a dozen tests. <laughs> Didn't roll a single die. Uh, right. Sweet. So uh, we open up in uh, what, your dining hall? Yeah, or like someplace fairly private. Like, I know that this is not a conversation I want overheard. But it's inappropriate to have him in my personal chambers right. for a meal. Like, want me there? No. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. God no. <laughs> You're gonna be a problem anyway when people just start dying. Yeah, you know, fuck, fuck me, right? <laughs> you can make a choice, all right. Well, a choice is probably gonna be made pretty soon. <laughs> Yeah, um, so yeah, we're in like, like a small private dining area. Okay. Um, and she's just like, I'm trying to have a nice dinner, but like, I am just restless as shit. Uh, and I'm like. Yeah, and he's, he's like, you seem, you seem distracted. Do I need to have more wine brought in? No, I don't actually um, think that would help. It's just that I've been thinking a lot about what you have said and and what Mzifa has said. Yeah. And, and I feel... What's that? Uh, he, he, he says, I'm... I know that Mzifa can be difficult. Uh, it's not... You... The, the situation that I'm in is so untenable in its present form. There's, like, you guys offer me a solution, but it's a temporary one. You know, and, and as much as I, I think about that and I think about, you know, them, them leaving us with that sorceress, and we, we can't fight her, but she wants to burn our speakers. You know what? But her forces are the ones occupying the city. What happens? What does after look like? 
uh, he's, he, he says, I, I, I understand. This is, this is what happens when barbarians take o over people's lands. You know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and she's like, well, I don't think that you're understanding my point, because you, you offer me a solution, and it's looking like it's the best answer for us to save us from more riots and starvation and death, but, like, what do I do about the forces here if you poison the Imperials? How does that not end our lives immediately? How does that not end your lives? If suddenly Baldwin they're the only ones won't be dead. <laughs> well, there's a reason we didn't invite you. Well, I mean, if Aldwin finds out when people, you know, start dying of poison. <laughs> what if I just lie really well? And You're say, like, why is it only the Imperials? I like, wasn't yes, the one who fed know. them? Uh, he, he, he says, I... I understand your concern. And I also understand that nothing nothing is safe. Uh and he's he says, uh I I offer you a way out. Because I see the trouble you 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 find yourself in, and it is untenable. Uh, people do not let go of things they believe belong to them. Uh, he says, uh, "That said, of course." Um, An arrangement, perhaps, could be made between your people and the Confederacy. How is that not just trading one boot on our neck for another? Uh, <clears throat> he he says, uh, y you you are you're you're. Uh, you're from our homeland. Uh, so the Confederacy, like, out of, out of, uh, some, some background here, uh, they're, they're, like, um, they're actually, like, a group of individual, like, sovereign nations that team up for mutual Mm -hmm. uh you know when when it's when it's convenient so they don't have like they're they're not exactly a democracy uh but they they uh they technically keep you know everybody sovereign that doesn't mean that people won't hold shit over each other's head there's plenty of infighting and yeah. and, and politicking between them but it's not the Imperials, like, these are our laws, therefore they are your laws. Right, yeah. It's, you it's, will uphold them or die. Yeah, they don't have, like, the whole autocratic uh, thing. They have their own problems, yeah. but it's not that one. <laughs> yeah. So I ask, I'm like, are you even authorized to make such a promise on behalf of the Confederacy? Uh, he says, <laughs> of course not. Uh, if, uh, I mean, I would be happy to if I could, uh, but my family does have pull. Well, I acknowledge that, but, you know, in the short term, you talk about the things that you brought that could help with our current imperialist problem, but I don't see, we take care of them at the feast, how do you even make it out of town alive? How do I even survive long enough for the Confederacy to get forces here, if they send forces? Uh, he, he, he says, it, it, 
would take them nearly as long uh, to 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 send word back as it would for us to get here. Uh, and who's who's going to be sending messages back to uh, to their capital, looking for for reinforcement? So what about the guards here? The guard captain. Do you plan on poisoning them all? He 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 kind of he kind of shrugs and he's like, "How loyal are they to you? Can you turn them? Can you secure really? their loyalty against uh, uh against the 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 rest of the barbarians, or are they uh?" Or are they too in, indoctrinated? Where, uh, where do their loyalties lie? You could stop. <laughs> <laughs> that would be just great. Why is it even in conversations? I'm not involved. I'm still getting shit on. <laughs> I don't know. Where are your loyalties? Dustin. I don't know anymore. <laughs> Man, you should maybe write some beliefs about who you're loyal to. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna have a nice. Uh, yeah. Uh. Yeah. He. He's. He's. He's like. Uh. I'm not. I'm not here. To make things more difficult for you. I won't lie and tell you that I'm not looking out for the best interests of the Confederacy. I think this is mutually beneficial. I hope you see it that way as well. I promise I won't make any moves without your say. But your time is running short. Eventually, we will have to leave. Is, yeah, the feast is going to happen tomorrow night. It is, Dustin. Yeah, no, I, <laughs> I got you just like it was going to happen tonight and the night before. <laughs> oh, this is a really shitty position. <laughs> well, you poor thing. <laughs> Like, how much notice do you need? Uh, he says, I think it would be best if we came to an agreement before we leave this room. Motherfucker! Damn, Sean, you're brutal. <laughs> Such a dick. Um, yeah, she just gets up and starts pacing, and she's like, I don't know. I don't know what the guard captain's gonna do, but, you know, he's been the one who's been looking out for the Varda people, you know, out of all the Imperials. You know, how can I say that, that it's right that you, you know, kill him to buy us a few months? And then what happens if the Confederacy doesn't come to our help? What if the Imperium descends with another round of troops and just finishes slaughtering us? He says these are these are conundrums. Boy, this guy's fucking helpful. Uh, <clears throat> he says he says uh, Look, this isn't anything we have to do. Your feast could go off without any, any, any further problems. I came here with an offer. I did not come here to murder. Everything in my life and the safety of my people is it easier and more insured if we limit the death of the Imperials to the priest who has unfortunately in disappeared blood. in a bloody puddle. <laughs> um, it's like, but I am not, you know, I, I don't think, I don't see a future 
where the Imperials die tomorrow night at the feast. And we get to draw breath for more than six more months. And I'm not willing to risk the lives of the entire town on that. But you go home and you sh show back up with forces and a contingent to defend us. And we will join the Confederacy if we are guaranteed our, um, what's the right word? The power to make your own decisions. Sovereignty. Yeah, basically. It's not the right word, but that's one we'll use. Like, we want our independence. We don't want someone marching in here and making laws about our politics and our um, our religions and how we live our lives. Uh, and he says, I see where you're coming from. How many of your priests can they burn in six months? Look, if <laughs> there is only one person that we have to worry about burning priests. And as long as you stay just slightly longer than Kalis does, we can probably take care of that and ensure that none get burned. But if we kill people at the feast, I th think the guard captain and his men might be a serious problem. And I, you did not bring enough people to deal with that. And I'm not willing to kill him out of hand. Uh, Dust, did you hear that? She doesn't want to kill you. <laughs> Yet. <laughs> uh, and he says, and... Like I said, I didn't come here able to make any promises. Of course not. But if you, if we take care of Cordia and you go home, I'm not in much worse of a position than if, you know, we didn't do anything or we killed all of them. You could go home and nothing could happen. Sounds like your decision's made then. Yeah, I'm not poisoning anybody at the feast. I would appreciate your help with Cordia afterward. However, if that doesn't work for you, then that is what it is. Uh, he says, I'll see what I can do to extend my stay. They're leaving the day after the feast. Except for the sorceress. Yeah. And she's the one who wants to burn my priests. He says, well, let's let's face it. They all want to burn your priests. Yes, but she's the one that we can't kill with the sword. So. I don't really try. <laughs> <laughs> I used to kill dragons, bitch. I'm worried about the sorceress. Uh... <clears throat> He uh, he 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 kind of stands up and is is like, uh, I didn't I I I did not come here to di dictate terms to you. If if this is how you want to handle it, then that's how it's going to be. Are you going to go back and employ the Confederacy to help us secure our independence from the Imperium? Uh, he's, he says, I will... Or is that contingent upon poisoning the Imperium and perhaps giving the town a death sentence? He, he says, I offered it as a solution to buy you time. If I will go back and I will pull what strings I can. But you have to understand that if we come in if they agree to send troops here you're inviting war on your doorstep 
And if we don't do that, it's what? Genocide? Uh, Just he, slowly he, surrendering everything to the Imperium? Uh, he, 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 uh, he kind of, he kind of shrugs and is, is like, I, I'm not pretending it's a, it's a, it's a good choice. Uh, how pragmatic do you want to be? How many speakers do you have? <laughs> Not enough. <clears throat> but he says, I, I, I'll do what I can. I, I, I agree with you that there's no good options. I do think that getting rid of of uh of the barbarian officials would be the most efficient way but as i said god you really want to poison them <laughs> i do too but i'm worried dustin will kill me <laughs> i mean you know i trust or alden trusts Desi, but i don't think he's quite that in her ballpark yet. You're still a good little Imperial. You still salute all the right people. I'm defending the people. I don't know if I could back someone who poisons people as, you know. What if I only poison the really big dickheads? First it was just my brother, and then it's just everybody else that comes along, <laughs> right? Yeah, that's honestly, like, I think it would cause a rift too big within the party. To that's be where we're coming up with a lot of this between Aldwin, you, and uh, Colin. Is, there's a possibility the whole party's just going to split. No, and I think that's, yeah, I think that's really why, like, we need to not do it. Like, on the meta level, I don't think it's the right decision to, to poison, poison people. them, even if it's yeah. the most kind of interesting and intriguing for me. It is, it is, it is but I just, I honestly don't see a way that Aldwin would let that fly. No, and I think it would break point. Colin. And I think I like the idea of Oh Colin yeah, Colin is Yezzy's. that's it. That's Yeah, I think I like the idea of Colin thinking Yezzy's going to kill a bunch of people. And then just like nothing happens. Like he just spends the entire feast like on the edge of his seat. Yeah, let's and torture everything the is fine. More. <laughs> well, I have a question for you on the meta then, because I was planning on I set it up like you wanted for the duel of wits. Mm -hmm. My next plan was to try to write a note to the Imperials going, you might, like, anonymous, be like, you might not want to come. Someone's trying to off you. Don't show up. <laughs> like, I think since you're talking on the meta, maybe I won't do that. Maybe I'll just play it up that I'm sweating butt bullets the that whole time. That is not a thing that would bug me if you did that, if you think that's what Colin would do. Like, it would be more funny than what anything. Calling but, him to me, but, it put, it put more of a split between Yezzy and him because when she finds out they were warned off, she knows only one person who knew of the plan That's that was terrible. against it. It depends on the ramifications of the note, really. Probably them sticking around. But, own. like, as a player, I'm going to do what it takes to keep the party together. That's, that's kind of what I'm thinking. So too. I'm that's also not going to, like, completely smoke Colin. Just for trying to stop something that he had no idea was confirmed going to happen anyway. Yeah. Like, if you came to her later and was like, I sent the note, like, she would laugh in your face and be like, did I ever say I was going to kill anybody? <laughs> yeah. Like, are you fucking serious? Do I look like the kind of person who'd poison somebody, Colin? Yeah, do you... Do you <laughs> Colin. Do you really want her yeah. to mom you again? I guess that's the real question you need to ask yourself. 
Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, I, I don't know. Lives, I see the yeah. thing is, you'd want to send a letter to protect lives, but if she's not going to do it, and I don't want to have to worry about te- more tension in this already crazy situation, maybe this time I could just let it go. I feel like Sean is almost at the point where he's trying to break the party up. No, he's just challenging our beliefs, man. Oh, yeah. And, uh... I think it would be great if you sent the note personally, because that would really fuck shit up. That fucks up shit in my end, too. Like, uh, yeah. What if well, they come Jesse, to the feast Jesse... and make me try their food? Would would like, Jesse... Yeah, okay. Whatever. Would Jesse, would Jesse then try to do something against Colin for that, though? That's the thing. No, because she's just trying to basically survive and keep okay. the like the town afloat. Okay. Well, and if I did, I'd be beginner's lucking right anyway. <laughs> so <laughs> I think it's possible because I because I can read, and so I could be like, "Well, I know this word means this, so let me find it in the Bible and copy it. <laughs> this word means this, let me find it in the Bible and copy it." You know. So it'd be... I don't even know if I can get the damn message across. Yeah, as a player, I, like, I think that would be amazing. No matter what okay. happened, I think okay. the consequences would be good. I think actually killing the contingent is a very bad idea. I tend to agree. From a meta standpoint. Yeah. So yeah, that's basically like, I'm just gonna tell him no and be like, look, I appreciate the offer. And I understand where you're coming from. And if I thought this would go better for my already traumatized people, I would say yes. But I cannot in good faith risk them. And that's what this does. Well, so you have to consider a role has to be made for the poisoning. I have cooking. And I'm sure somebody has poisoning. And a a failure can mean the wrong people get poisoned. That would be unfortunate for a lot of people involved. <clears throat> yes, yeah, so I tell him no. Like, I can't do it. He, uh... He, he, uh... He, he... Finishes the last of his meal. And, uh... And he stands up and says... Uh... <clears throat> This is your people and your decision. Can't say I won't, that I agree with it, but I'll abide by it. I'll do what I can to help, but I can make no promises. Well, that leaves us in no worse of a position because you can't make any promises even if we do kill them. And if they come back and find them dead and you haven't secured us help, kind of like gaze towards the direction of the town and be like, it'd be a massacre. They've already taken so much from us. All we have left is in our lives. They'd take that too. <clears throat> well, it was a lovely meal and a lovely evening. We have that at least. <laughs> I'll bid you good night. We have a feast to prepare for in the morning. He says, Yes. Yes, we do. And uh yeah, he 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 gets up and, and goes. She sits down and pours more wine and just like stares at the wall for a long time. Look, she just sits in there and drinks. She's like, the fuck is happening? No good options. <laughs> every game that I run. Uh, I like how she keeps getting up against the point of killing people, and then she's like, oh, Alden will kill me. Okay. <laughs> He's like my guiding compass. Like, oh, no. Let's solve this. Alduin's kind of the only thing you got between you and other people's pointy sticks at this point. Yeah. Are you, Alduin is your Amos? No, he's my Naomi. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. 
because the expanse is good uh, <laughs> cool well uh i think that's a good place to stop we can finally yeah, open next time with the goddamn feast that's been on well, the right well, before the feast i gotta write a note <laughs> yeah damn it and then we'll see who comes to the feast that's note right. and then feast note feast all right my god the feast is actually gonna happen yeah maybe it... my note might take all session to write <laughs> <laughs> well then the feast is gonna happen while you're writing a fucking note and yes he's gonna no, have some questions why you weren't not. Gonna... yeah we're feeding some people okay good night john all right what are you gonna do bits yes let's do bits who would like to go first? I can. Go ahead. Uh, I can't run the church anymore. I will leave it and never return. Nope. I came back. I'll, I'll, you try. I'll give you a fate. Can I get a persona for that one? <laughs> I was thinking something later, maybe, Sean. We'll see. Um, a... Uh, da, da, da. I must find another way to prove my worth to Gothic. I should start by helping Gisela on her farm and try turning <laughs> an enemy into a, uh, an ally. I de I'll definitely give you a fate for that. Oh, wait. An ally? Wait, what's the opposite of ally? Uh, After all the preparation of this time for the feast, the I will ensure it goes off without a hitch. <laughs> I'll give you, you a fate for that one. I tried. I tried to stop her from poisoning people at my feast. To set up a poisoning. I tried. Uh, okay. For all of you know, she wanted to honor the Imperials, too. Always answer a threat or an insult with a sucker punch. Uh, I got in trouble by pushing down a mother and elbowing a bar person. Yes, you did. Never allow a child to come to harm. And when in doubt, pray. Uh, I don't think they really got me into anything. I don't know. Oh no, I think uh I think I think not allowing a child to come to harm uh that caused you some problems. I the believe tablet? it did too. Yeah. I just hit, I just hit 30 fate. I don't know what to do. Get in a fight. Was gonna, Get in I was a fight. I got in a duel of wits to spend them all and nope, I got taken out first round, motherfucker. That's, that's <laughs> what, if if you if you got no skill, never go defensive. Never go I defense. I had a decent will. I thought I could hold her off at first, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. I was just going to try point, point, dismiss, but you know. Uh, traits. Cruel, stoic, and well-intentioned. Were you cruel uh, or well-intentioned? You were not stoic at all. I wasn't no. stoic at all. I was... I was begging for forgiveness and crying like a little man baby who committed murder. <laughs> um, I don't know if it'll bite me in the butt yet confessing to um, Chad. Um, but other than that, yeah. All right. Uh. Jo John you? says he didn't expect so much religious strife. I love religious strife in Burning Hill. <laughs> it's it's it, it is like, always the right. best. Like religion is just it's so well understood and it's so emotional and powerful. Yep. Like as a heathen, I love religion <laughs> in game. You always know what it does. You always know what it looks like. Yep. Is that it? Is it my turn? Yep, your turn. <sighs> Alright. Let me get there. There's buttons again. Buttons. Uh, I to I'm really well prepared. Okay. The feast will finally fucking happen and it will be delightful and nobody will die. <laughs> I'm going to give you a fate for that. Yep. Yeah. Cordia would be an amazing ally. I must figure out how to befriend her and do so. 
Give, I'll take a fate. Give you a fate for that. Cordy is a dick. I wrote her beliefs like a long ass time ago too. <laughs> I just like that I was like, how would I make you comfortable? And she's like, burn the hay then. I'm gonna fucking kill you, bitch. <laughs> like, whoa, I thought you might want a different pillow. Maybe yeah. some bedtime wine. A hug? <laughs> no, do your job as I see your job to be. <laughs> Alright, I will dine with Asani Asani and convince him to employ the Confederacy to send troops to help us declare our independence. Uh I'll give you a persona for that, because he'll he will happily okay. employ them. Is he actually gonna try? Yeah. I feel like I should send a letter with him. Would that help? Probably. I don't know what's gonna happen. Yeah, that way it's proactive on our part. Instead of like, man, I wonder if that dude who showed up one time is going to, like, come through and save the day. Right. We can feel like we should have some active part now. Yeah. We're not all the way. We're not telling him. Uh, keep calm and yeah, de-escalate. people have a lot of that. A lot of that going around. <laughs> keep calm and de-escalate. I don't know. I don't know if that applies to anything anymore. <laughs> Like those, I tried. Yeah, those and then you two got aren't so like deaths. necessarily. Like, sure, you'll keep calm, but do you always de-escalate? Like, I feel like I was trying, and then you got thrown into a desk, and other people showed up. I was totally just gonna like ignore her until she went away. <laughs> you called me. Yeah, and then you couldn't do shit about it. Right. Oh, just because she's right. a wizard, can throw you around like a rag doll. <laughs> Always protect Eric and As Asta, and never show weakness before others. I'll give you a fate for never show weakness before others. I protected Eric from more stick poking. <laughs> I don't think that counts. No. <laughs> she's not threatened very much. Don't start. She, w she was totally hitting her brother with a stick, though. <laughs> uh, rabble rouser, collectivist, scolding, market privilege, coal-headed, thick skin. Uh, <laughs> you didn't really scold. No, not really. No. All right, uh, Aldwin. All right. Uh, Mazifa will cooperate with my investigation or be jailed. I'll give you a persona point for that. He was absolutely jailed. I will assign a detailed man to protect both delegations during their visit. I'll give you... Uh, oh, yeah, you totally you totally did that. I did, but not in the original intent of my belief. No, that's, <laughs> that's, that's, that's fine. Uh, I did it more as a... Fuck as a, you! As a, fuck you! Yeah. Mazifa loves that, by the way. And he's totally oh, not going to pick a fight with your dudes. Oh, well, I'm sure he won't. And I'm totally sure I won't not. have to throw his ass in jail again for fighting my dudes. It'll be fine. <laughs> I'm not poking a bear. <laughs> um, uh, if I feel threatened, I will draw my sword. Uh, yeah. It got me thrown against a desk. It did. The fate? Yep. Situation gets out of hand, I will take control of it through intimidation. You tried. I failed that, and then people came in. Ugh. I got in trouble for that. Yep, I'll give you a fate for that. Always fight to the death. Didn't, didn't come to that. You did not fight to the death. Uh, traits. Stoic, put upon, stubborn, and six sense commanding aura. I would... S oh, go ahead, Kristen. I was just going to say, he was so put upon. He was. Quite put upon. Probably the most put upon I've ever been. <laughs> Always put upon. Stubborn was pretty good, though. I'm gonna arrest you if you don't answer my questions. Why'd you arrest him? You didn't answer my questions. <laughs> well, fucking let him go. You beat me. <laughs> Shit, just let him go. I like that you did too. That you're like, oh, all right, I guess so. I'm, okay. Dude, I'm my Alden's getting sick of it. I'll give like, you a fight for that. Whatever. Out of here. So, fate for put upon and stubborn? Yep. And that's it. Okay. Uh, no, I don't think humor. No? 
No. Uh, I don't think right skill, right time. Suasion was the only odd one that came up, but I don't consider it a very like out of place. No, skill not necessarily. Not for, not for priests. In any case, persuasion different than persuasion. Uh, yeah, because persuasion is, hey, buddy, you should do this because, uh, like, it's really in your best interest. Uh, and persuasion is like, you should do this because the God says. Because it. Jesus. Yeah. Oh, it's a religious thing. Yes. It's yeah. essentially persuasion for priests. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I always thought it was just like a weird slang for persuasion. No, no, it's it's a it's a specifically flavored persuasion test or skill. Cool. Um All right, embodiment. Who would like to uh, nominate for embodiment? <laughs> Everybody yeah. up in the club getting embodiment. I I I don't do it often, but I think I think Colin deserves it. I because it was. Uh, I agree. I agree. I did I like the heart Izzy. to heart with um. I like the heart to heart with Chadwick a lot. The confession. Even if he doesn't give a shit about your bullshit. He's 16. He doesn't give a shit about a lot of bullshit. That's right. Except his own bullshit, because he's 16. Exactly. That's right. Anybody else? Yeah, Yezzy. Sure. <laughs> sure, whatever, Yezzy. <laughs> Anything in particular? <laughs> sure. Uh, <laughs> her whole dealing... Trying to deal uh, with... Uh, honestly, I think it's more for uh, her... Um, conversation with Colin. Like how she just started momming him. <laughs> and the whole duel of wits. It was, was hilarious. A mess. He was a mess. It was cleaned so up. funny. At least he didn't vomit on I himself. would actually I would actually vote for humor in that sense. Because that I was thinking, I couldn't remember why I was laughing, but something in the game had me laughing and that's what it was. When she started <laughs> taking twigs, pine needles out of his beard, I started laughing. I would well, get her he was yelling. <laughs> what do you? Stop! I'm being <laughs> angry. <laughs> you didn't fork in child rearing. That would have been awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, yeah. That's why I vote that, and I also want to go back and vote for uh, funny. I, I I would I would go if it killed the entire like the entire okay. table. But it 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 didn't. It was funny. Kill me. <laughs> I laughed. I thought it was great. All right. Uh, mold breaker for going beyond the bounds of character. Nah, nobody got that one. No. I think if Colin repents, we will. I I I kind of thought that's what he did tonight. Like he had that epiphany. With you were made to go back to the church, though. No, but no, but when he was talking with Chadwick, like, he realized, well, shit, like, this kid, you know, I, I kind of thought that was, I was hoping, anyways, that's the moment that was with Chadwick, but. I feel like once you return to the church, sticks, like, because you're <laughs> still, like, you're kind of made to go back, because I told you to, but at this we'll point, do what like, I say. I'm changing that belief now, because, uh, because I, I, I kind of went against it, never returning to the church, and now I've... But I feel like that's the thing, like... I feel like you're still on the fence. Like, you didn't repent and walk back on your own. And sure, you opened up to Chadwick, because you were low. He but walked I... back because of you, but once he was there, is is that was... It was kind of the. Uh, I kind of. I agree. I kind of agree with Matt on this one, just because, yeah, he didn't go back because he wanted to, and it wasn't his intent. But he also doesn't have to stay past the feast, but he's going to to try to repent himself to uh, Chadwick. Is he though? Like that's the thing. Yeah. No, that was part of the. Yeah, he's he's going to teach Chadwick how to write, and read, and all that, and. I also think Colin's been a bit of a little bitch about all this. And so I guess, like, I'm like, why wouldn't he just walk away again? Yeah. Like, why wouldn't he, he, he just... 
get drunk he was, and emotional and leave. He was, and then he, yeah, he had his, he had his. I mean, that's fair, but you can't really not give him mold breaker because of what might he do down the road. But I feel like the argument is that we'll give him mold breaker for what he might do down the road. The thing is, is down the road I'll have completely different beliefs because I'm I'm done with this one, and so it's not really mold breaking anymore if I don't have that belief. Isn't that true? Because I went against that belief. I'll, I'll, I'll leave it up to Sean. <laughs> damn it. Why'd you got to put this in my lap? What am I, the GM Because you're the GM. Yeah. God damn Get it. Get out your gold star stickers. God damn it. Put on the big boy pants, Sean. Uh, no, I like. I agree with Matt. Okay. Like, I, I think... You should have agreed with the uh, person because you live with her. No, <laughs> I, that's that's not how this works. You not haven't played enough games with these two. To know <laughs> no, I like I totally get where uh, where you're coming from, Kristen. But I like I uh, I think Matt's intent was to to do that and like. I would I would side with you if he hadn't had that last test versus test with uh, uh, with the kid. Okay. Where it was like, no, we're both gonna be here. We'll both be priests. Uh, you know, if he if he if the situation cha changes any bales, uh, then you know then we'll it, burn that it, bridge it, when we jump. when we get there. Uh, I was even planning on changing one of my instincts. I was gonna. I was planning on getting rid of the sucker punch instinct. Okay, like to me, I guess it comes down to like this whole like the proof is in the pudding sort of thing. Yeah. Like, yeah. sure, you went against the belief, but that wasn't really. Like, I'm not gonna argue with Sean. Take it, but I feel like that hasn't been shown in the game. Like, the change in the character hasn't come in play. I definitely Even agree though, with that because it, it's been back and forth we started playing. Yeah, like it's always been on the table and like I'm not against you specifically going for Mold Breaker but it comes up every session and you haven't like you you feel I I feel like you you see where you want your character to be now like you're not waffling but we haven't played that. I see what you're saying, yeah. But also, if it ends this, am I a priest, am I not a priest? Then take Moldbreaker and choose a new direction. Yeah. Yep. So you both have really good points. Well, that's kind of what I was doing at this point. I was like, no, it's fucking go priest time now. Go priest! Yeah, I could, I yeah then I take I it. I kind of agree and... with her, like, just towing the line between really cruel guy and trying to be a priest. It just can't. It couldn't keep going on. So yeah, I agree. So if take this it is the, if this is it, then that, yeah, that's good. All right. Workhorse. Who gets workhorse? We fucking embroiled Aldwin in a lot of stuff. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, poor Aldwin. I don't know if I accomplished anything. Uh,. Workhorses for doing all the work for the scenario. Um, uh, I feel like Gizzy did a lot of the uh, groundwork. Uh, MVP is for being the crucial element of success. Well, we're all failures. We're, so. Everybody's a failure. Yeah, but you did own that duel of wits. Yeah, that was really uh, cool. That's true. I still don't feel bad about that. I had I didn't do too bad either. On a four dice, I had three successes to defend. No, she's you did. like, you did really good. Ten points, motherfucker. Yeah, I had eight dice and nine successes. So yeah, was, your three it, successes are really cute. It was <laughs> yeah, it was pretty awesome. At least I'm part of gaming history. Uh, oh man. It's almost oh, no, as bad had... a failure as rolling 15 dice of resources for you, an ob 4 and still failing. You had 9 dice and 10 successes. Well, if you want to... 1, 2, 3, 4, Take yeah. Cares. Yeah, because you rerolled oh, yeah, those 2 sixes. Oh yeah, I forgot about the Arda. Yeah. 
So look, yeah. you can agree with Matt, commenter, but <laughs> I'm not done arguing. All right. <laughs> You're not Thank part you. of the system. Uh, Thank you, commentor. <laughs> uh, yeah, so um, I feel like I feel like MVP probably goes to to Yezzy because like yeah. it, you you she she crushing crushing me i mean it was it was that but it, it also like it kind of it kind of settled everything into place right like she, settled, she kind of she kind of solved the mess or at least calmed it down and has we're gonna to make the feast solved. happen and that's why i get mvp because we're gonna have a fucking feast and it's gonna be delightful all right yeah. you know how uh, matt will get keeps dragging the whole priest not priest thing i kind of like this whole feast scenario Right. Yeah, that's why it has to happen. Shit or get off the pot. Priest, We're gonna have a feast. Priest not You've been priest on the or pot feast not years. feast. You know, it it works both ways. Um cool. So who who gets who gets workhorse or do we award workhorse? Do we give it I don't know. Do we do we give it to uh to, to Father Colin? Uh sure. for all those small roles, or do we give it to uh uh, to Aldwin uh, for pretty much really always being there to back up. I, I, I feel like I, I did less than Aldwin personally. Yeah, but you accomplished more. It's Yeah, but Workhorse isn't about accomplishing things. Uh, Workhorse is about uh, like being there, being kind of the support character for the session. Then I feel like it was Aldwin. I agree. Because, I mean, no offense, Matt, but you were off praying to trees. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And getting drunk, getting really hammered, and then praying to trees. And pushing around old ladies, you dick. <laughs> I'm a big dick. He's good at that. Oh, and uh, for for Yezzy and, uh, and Aldwin... Hang on, let me find the steel chapter. Oh, for the magic? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I got blasted. In the face. In the face. Into a desk. You probably, like, ruffled my papers, and now they're out of order. Oh, I'm so sorry. I might have actually scratched or dented your desk. My it's okay. Body. Technically, it's Eric's desk, so... I'm just holding it in the meantime. Uh, I would say this. Uh, let's see. I might get an ob too. I might get an ob too. Five, B5, B5. Ob five, ob five. Yeah, because I think this is right up there with uh, with witnessing or being party to spirit activity. Uh, yes, because because the next uh, the next one that you get for magic is witnessing or suffering under sorcerer's cataclysmic destruction, but that's ob nine. Oh, that's a little hot. Yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, that's uh, so you for get b five. That's a difficult, right? Uh, yeah, it's an ob five ob five steel test. Um, I need one more of those, and I ding. Sean, yeah, do I get an ob three for being in a brawl? Oh yeah. For a fist fight? Yep. You do. <laughs> I got a point! I'm yeah. only one yeah. more test away. <laughs> Me too. See, but you just have a B5. You just you just need to get in more fights. Yeah, as I as I now take a belief that's pretty much a vow of uh, uh, uh um what's it called? Nonviolence. Pacifism. Vow of pacifism. Yeah, vow of nonviolence. Ah, uh, good stuff. Good stuff. Uh, well, that's it. Thank you guys for playing. Again, uh, are we back? Gonna be back on our re regular schedule next week. Um, Sunday. Sundays up in the air. It depends. On, we're doing a photo shoot thing, so we might not be back in town. 
by game time Sunday. That's a good. We could do a weekday again, and then go back to Sunday. You're 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 pretty positive that you won't be able to make it Sunday then. Uh, the plan is to be done shooting by five, but it's a two-hour drive home, and that's if we're. Yeah. I mean, we can oh, tentative plan. Exhausted. Yeah, yeah, we can do. We can do. I what weekday think. works for you guys? Wednesday or Thursday seems pretty good. Or was that the what we did Wednesday last time too, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah well, yeah. Wednesday is fine for me. All right. All right, should we plan for Wednesday? We'll have to do it back about 7, 7.30, but because yeah. the kid will be here. That's fine. Yep, let's uh, let's shoot for that. And uh, good deal. Well, I guess we will see everybody on Wednesday evening again. Uh, Bye, Burning Voyeur. Have a good night. <laughs> good night, everybody, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.